So let's begin our coverage with President Obama. Now, I've been fair to the president. You know that. He knows that. Um, I think I understand him very, very well. So he comes on, he's looking a little casual, and his only goal is to say, no, nah, President Trump's not cutting it. Roll the tape. I never expected that my successor would embrace my vision or continue my policies. I did hope, for the sake of our country, that Donald Trump might show some interest in taking the job seriously. That he might come to feel the weight of the office and discover some reverence for the democracy that had been placed in his care. But he never did. For close to four years now, he has shown no interest in putting in the work. No interest in finding common ground. No interest in using the awesome power of his office to help anyone but himself and his friends. No interest in treating the presidency as anything but one more reality show that he can use to get the attention he craves. Donald Trump hasn't grown into the job because he can't. Okay, and you expect that. Actually, I expected a lot worse. All right, <laughs> I thought Barack Obama was pretty gentle, but this line caught my attention. He has shown no interest in putting in the work, no interest in finding common ground, no interest in using the awesome power of his office to help anyone but himself and his friends. Well, Donald Trump works hard. I, I can tell you that. I mean, he's on the job and he doesn't sleep. He's like a vampire. If you read the United States of Trump and you should just to know who the president is, he works hard. Now, a lot of it's self-involvement. Yes, there's no doubt about that. He's not a particularly altruistic man, altruistic word of the day. But when um, President Obama says that all he's doing is uh, trying to help himself and his friends, I'm his friend. I think we don't talk very much anymore because I think I tell him things he doesn't want to hear, but I don't even know that to be a fact. Uh, I'm his friend. He hasn't helped me. In fact, I pay a lot more federal income tax because Donald Trump knocked out the deduction for state taxes and limited the mortgage deduction at $10,000. I'm paying significantly amount more than I did under Barack Obama to the federal government. Now, that didn't help me, all right? I don't mind doing it. I, I, the taxes are too high, for, to be fair, I know that, but I don't mind it. I consider myself lucky, all right? But to say that all Trump wants to do is cronyism, you can't back it up. Now, if Barack Obama were sitting here and, uh, and we were doing an interview and I said that to him, what do you think his answer would be? He wouldn't have an answer. I'm Trump's friend. Trump isn't helping me. All right. Now, the policies of capitalism and the rise in the economy, that helped everybody. Not just me. It helped everybody. And then, these are truisms. This isn't opinion. These are facts. Bill O'Reilly is back on TV and only on The First. No spin news every weeknight at 8 p.m. Eastern, only on The First.